So the X Max 90. So let's talk a little detailed specs because I know you're going to ask me anyway, and I'm loving to tell you, but I'm going to put it on this video so you can watch it and you can record it if you didn't listen the first time. So let's talk a little bit about the technical specs behind the X Max 90 and what makes it so special. So this battery right here, 400 amps of charging. So if you've got a McMahon 370, a Brand X, a JNS, any reputable brand alternator that puts out 370 amps below the set point of 14.7, you're perfect, absolutely perfect. So that is gonna give you the full potential out of this battery. Now, if you've got more than that, say you've got two 370s, well, that's too much. So we need to go back and look at another battery as far as another one of these. So you wanna do two. So if you've got, again, less than 400 each, uh, a little bit of other information. So they do require a lithium charger. So if you have a LI-1208, an LI-1215, or an LI-1225, all three of those work perfect. So don't go with an LI-1408 or a 1615, or you're gonna, you're gonna have a bad time. So, and don't call us about a warranty if you be using the wrong charger and not listen to me. So lots of good specs here to listen to. Again, 16 to 20,000 watts, we rate it for. Right at 25 pounds, check this out. We can see that. So these actually have bolt ins on the side. So there's no reason to externally case. We've already done the hard part too. You want the DIY cost, but you don't want the, you don't want the DIY look. You don't want to have to learn all the stuff about the DIY. So we gave this to you with the X Max 90. This is a first product in our lineup that offers a DIY type solution for this. So if you're looking at a couple of different options and you want to get the most powerful footprint, this would be an awesome opportunity to get into. Again, the X Max 90. 14.7 volts or below, make sure you use a lithium charger, a 12 volt option such as the LI-1208, LI-1215, or the LI-1225, all work perfect. So let's talk about under the hood batteries because obviously this battery is not under the hood safe. So we gotta be careful with heat, things like that are not very happy with this battery. So if it's in the back, that's perfect. If you've got a car that utilizes a battery in the rear of the vehicle that doesn't experience under the hood heat, it works perfect for that. So under the hood, if you've got a Group 48, a Group 34, the best option for this one is gonna be our SB series, and that's a capacitor bank or a battery delete. But again, I'm not a fan of removing a battery from under the hood and just leaving empty spot. We've got opportunities there to actually maximize our performance with a battery under the hood, and we make them already, so you might as well. We do have on this battery, you have four positives and four negatives. Um, you can see the red wire is the one that is actually for positive. Black wires for negative. Again, guys, already built. It comes out just like this. Now, with every excess power battery, we recommend that you do a charging session before you install it. And I don't recommend any sort of like trickle chargers or any sort of like small float chargers. They're not good for lithium. Um, that's just not what I recommend. If you're wanting lifespan, that's it. Oh, and don't forget, you have a four year warranty on this battery. Problem is with most DIY options is that your warranty is basically you gave that away for the opportunity to get a save cost. Well, again, at Excess Power, we, we're competitive ourselves. We love to listen to you guys and get updates from you. So this is what we've done. We've offered a four-year warranty with this product as long as you purchased it from an authorized dealer. So if you have any questions, feel free to give us a shout. I'm Sean. I'm with Excess Power Batteries. Talk to you guys soon.